This video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more about that coming up soon. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in Germany. So this video today is actually going to be another reaction video to an article, an expats in Germany article that I read recently. It's a very new article. Actually, I've just looked at the article. It's called Eight More Signs That You Have Been Germanized. So there must be a part one, which I haven't read yet. So it's gonna be a bit of a back to front reaction. I find these kind of lists written by expats living in Germany super funny and entertaining because sometimes I completely agree with what they have to say. I'm like, yes, 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 totally agree. And then other times I'm like, really? I have never experienced that. So I haven't read the article yet. It's gonna be like a first time reaction. So I am gonna be getting into that really soon. But first I would like to take a moment to talk a little bit about today's sponsor, Skillshare. So I am a Skillshare partner. You may have heard me talking about this wonderful platform on my channel before. But if you have not heard of Skillshare, it is an online learning community where millions come together to take their next step Step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes and in subjects like film and video, creative writing, graphic design, photography, freelancing and so much more. So whether you are a creative professional wanting to expand your skills or a beginner wanting to explore and dabble a little bit in a creative subject, there's going to be a class perfectly suited for you. I personally have been using Skillshare for a couple of years now and I really enjoy the combination of group classes and video sessions that they have. I actually took a really great Skillshare class recently with designer Lauren Cox. The class was called Interior Design Basics, Simple Steps to Perfect Your Space. Lauren shared some really helpful and simple tips on how to maximize your living space and express your personality through your home interior. So if you are also interested in exploring your creativity, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in my description will receive a free one month trial to Skillshare. Okay, so let's dive straight in. Eight more signs you've been Germanized. You yell, hello, when you're annoyed at someone. Oh my goodness, I've never actually talked about this on my channel, but this is something that Germans do all the time if they are feeling annoyed. And I have to say, I have not caught on to this, but it's definitely something that a lot of Germans do, including my little girl. She does this as well. So she's obviously been Germanized. Well, she hasn't been Germanized because she was born here. She's actually, she technically is German. Um, but for example, I remember the first time this happened to me in Germany, I was quite shocked and and I felt quite offended. I thought it was the rudest thing ever. I was accidentally walking in the bicycle lane, which is a huge no-no in Germany. And I remember somebody biking past and saying, hello. And I was shocked. I didn't know that I wasn't meant to be there for one. And two, I thought it was super kind of rude the way she said it to me. And I kind of didn't get it. Like, why is she saying hello to me? in a really mean, angry voice, and I kind of clicked, okay, I'm doing something wrong. So just say somebody has cut in front of another person in a supermarket checkout queue, the person who this has happened to, they will react with, hello. I actually don't even know whether I've said this in the right tone because I never actually say it, but if you live in Germany, if you're German, or if you are an expat living in Germany, you will know what I'm talking about. And it's just a very simple way to say, I don't approve of that, and they'll say it in a really, grumpy kind of voice. My daughter Amelia, she will often say that to her little brother Matteo when he's doing something that annoys her. She'll say, hello, and I have never really thought about it, but she does this all the time. So she's obviously super German. Okay, so the next point, you actually enjoy having a bit of peace and quiet on a Sunday. And I feel like a broken record talking about Sundays in Germany. If you watch my videos, you'll already know the answer to this. Yes, I enjoy Sundays in Germany. I enjoy that they are relaxing and peaceful. And I think I've appreciated this more since I have become a mother. I'm a mother of three, if you don't know. And I love having just a little bit of downtime, like one day of the week, just having some time to relax and rejuvenate and just sort of catch up on my thoughts and not have to rush to different places. Life can just get so busy and I feel like it is really important for my mental health to have a wind down kind of day before the busy week starts. 
Okay, so next point. You have insurance for everything. And I have to say, yes, this is true. Um, I have talked about the fact that Germany has incredible public health insurance. So many aspects of my life have been insured. But also we have insurance for a lot of other things, like our house is insured. If we have a fire or anything happens, then our house is insured. What else? We have life insurance, our car's insured, like yes, we, we have everything insured. So is this a German thing? I don't know, maybe I've been living in Germany for way too long to know whether it's like this in other parts of the world, but... I think this might be a German thing to be insured for basically everything. Okay, next point. You know your full con broad from your pumpernickel. Obviously, it's no secret that Germany has an incredible reputation for their amazing bread. And I do feel like a broken record saying this, but I cannot eat German bread due to an autoimmune disorder called celiac. So I personally cannot enjoy the amazing German bread, but in saying that, I do actually know quite a lot about German bread because I'm a mother of three and my husband, he loves German bread. He absolutely loves it and my children do as well, well my two oldest children. When I have to go to the bakery and get bread for my family, I know exactly what to order. They will give me very specific instructions about what bread that they like and so I know all of the German breads and I know what my family enjoys, so yes, I guess I can tell the difference between all types of different German bread. Okay, so the next point, you say hello when you enter a doctor's waiting room. And the answer is absolutely, it is the height of rudeness if you walk into a German waiting room and you do not greet the people around you. This was actually a bit of a culture shock when I first went to a doctor in Germany and I was sitting in a waiting room and every person that entered into that room greeted everybody and I thought well this is actually really nice but I feel kind of bad because I didn't do that. I quickly clicked on to the fact that this is just something you do in Germany, this is expected of you to greet everybody in the room as a whole when you enter the room and as I said I think it's quite nice and it makes you feel really good when people acknowledge that you are there and it's something I always, always do when I enter a room in Germany. And it kind of breaks the ice a little bit, which I think is nice. Next point, you religiously air out your home. And the answer is, yes, I do. I have most definitely caught on to this German habit. Could you call it a habit? It's just something that people do here in Germany. They like to have fresh air flowing through their house and they like to air out their home. I cannot stand having a stuffy house, especially in my bedroom. I cannot sleep in a room that has really like stale, thick, kind of like old air. I need to have fresh air circulating through my window and I don't leave my windows open all the time, but there is a certain time in my house where I will open my windows and a lot of you will already know about the awesome German windows that kind of tilt and allow you to open your window without having to completely open up your window. And um, this is something that a lot of most Germans do once a day they will air out the, the rooms in their homes. I also think German homes in general tend to get quite stuffy because they are so well built and so well insulated so there is not a lot of opportunity for this stale air to escape from the house so you have to actually open the windows to get that air out and yeah I do it all the time this is something that I am just used to now and do people not do this in other countries? Once again, I think I have lived in Germany for too long because I, I'm pretty sure I didn't do this in New Zealand. No, I don't think I did. I think this is a German thing. Okay, next point. You carry a cloth bag with you everywhere. And the answer is yes, I do. I always have a cloth bag in my bag, like in my, my nappy bag or whatever bag I'm taking because they are just so, so handy. In Germany, if you are going to a supermarket or a clothing shop or just any shop in general, you have to pay separately for your bag. They don't automatically give you a free bag. They will say, would you like a bag and most of the time people actually have their own bag with them 
and this is not only just super convenient to carry a little bag around with you but it's it's more sustainable because you're not constantly repurchasing plastic bags that you're going to throw out anyway and they'll end up in the landfill um, but in saying that plastic bags are definitely being phased out here in Germany many of the supermarkets actually most of the supermarkets don't have plastic bags anymore they will have paper bags okay so last but not least you can appreciate the joy of a good surely and the answer to this is absolutely I have been 100% Germanized in the fact that I I can totally appreciate a good surely so if you don't know what a surely is it is a mix between sparkling water and some kind of juice it's usually a 50 50 mix sometimes it will be maybe 60 percent juice and 40 percent water sparkling water it has to be sparkling my surely of choice would definitely be apple surely which it's just a mix of apple juice and sparkling water and I have to say I am not super fussy about what brand it is, I just love Apfel Surely in general. But in saying that I do appreciate a really really good Apfel Surely, some of them are better than others. I do find kind of the budget brands that you get from the discount supermarkets to be a little bit too kind of sweet and if you spend a little bit more on an Apfel Surely it does taste a little bit better. But I have to admit, I have developed a little bit of an addiction to Apple Surely to the point where I actually prefer it over water. That's not a good thing because, you know, water is always more healthy than drinking some kind of a juice. Even though Apple Surely is watered down, it's not the straight apple juice. But I recently have found myself just wanting to drink it all the time and not drink water. Um, so what I have done, I have actually bought the light up for surely, which is more water. I think it's 60% water and 40% apple juice, which I think balances it out a little bit. The majority of what I drink is water, but I definitely, on a daily basis, will drink up for surely. Mostly the light up for surely doesn't taste quite as good but it's kind of like a bit of a compromise anyway so obviously I have been Germanized I love a good surely actually any surely for that matter so one thing I have realized is that I am a very Germanized Kiwi right now and you know as the old saying goes you can take the girl out of New Zealand but you can't take the New Zealand out of the girl that is very true but same goes with when you have been living in Germany for many years there's no taking the German out of the Kiwi I'm confusing myself but you guys know what I mean. So anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I also wanted to remind you that the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in my description will receive a free one month trial to Skillshare. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye!